Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another Oak Big TC video. And in today's video, we're diving into the 10 star Kazuna Clash against Sakazuki with the EX Speed Double Roger Teams. Now, I put out a preparation video for this particular fight, and I actually ran this with a friend, Captain Whitebeard. That particular video is live on the channel right now. Make sure to go check it out if you guys want to maximize your ticket gain. However, if you are a grinder, if you're a gamer, and you want to play the shit out of Kazuna using the suicide strat, getting all your assists and doing all that fun stuff whilst you're saving your friends, you can use Double Roger to build out your EXP. Now, Kazuna assists give you a lot of EXP. However, if you want to get all of these skulls, you're going to pick them up from like box 7. So, you got to get a lot of tickets as well. So, you're going to want to play as many assists as possible and try and save your potions for your... Um, super boss runs when those big events come around. But, like I said, if you guys want to use ESP, this team will help you out. I'll leave a link to the description for the ESP and ticket run and how to use those teams. But with that said, if you enjoy the video, belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Let's dive into Double Roger. Starting off with the quick fight. That's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, if you guys need a replacement for Kid Killer, a lot of people were asking me, Stump, I don't have Kid Killer. Like They're pretty new and I understand. You can just use Shank Screw. Shank Screw is going to be a 3.75 chain lock, I believe, um, which works very, very nicely because you just need to be above 3.5, I believe, after level 31. So uh, maybe it's not even that. I think it's like, probably like 2.75. So you can easily use Shanks Group. That's going to work nicely. He also triggers Roger's EX, and it's going to work out nicely. Now, on turn one, I use the Big Mom uh, special. The reason I want to do this is because I don't want the Samler slots on Roger. I keep the Samuel Sauce on everyone else, because after level 31, you are going to, um, you are going to need basically any orb that's not a type orb, it's there's a 90% attack down. The upside to Big Mom is she triggers the Roger EX, and she does end of turn damage, which allows you to get past the uh, Resilience after level 31, plus you have those Samuel Sauce as well. On turn 2, we're going to use a Roger Special and a Roger EX, that's going to help us carry the buffs into the final stage. And remove the attack down. Super swap with Kid Killer and use the special for three turns of a chain boundary. And that's going to allow us to do a lot of damage. Remember, if you guys have uh, Shank Screw there, you can just use that Shank Screw. That's going to give you um, a base stat boost. Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's just going to give you Chain Lock, which is really, really fun. On the final stage, the enemy is weak to Powerhouse. And all these teams are Powerhouse-centric. So we are going to be doing a lot more damage. But we lose type advantage. So if class advantage or type advantage, the, the damage should still be the same as long as you're running Powerhouse units. You get Paralyzed on the final stage. There's one turn of Defense Up Damage Reduction and threshold to get around that we're utilizing the new free-to-play ace and the level limit break five free-to-play treasure map luffy he's going to take care of all of those uh defensive effects ace is going to take care of the paralysis and then we're using our other roger to give ourselves a tandem orb there is a two tap tandem orb barrier on this stage and as you can see with the two rogers you get the two tandem orbs and you can easily take out a kind of onto the next fight which is Psy, and the team looks a little bit like this. That's the team, those supports, let's dive on in. Arlong 5+, plus, the la one of the later free-to-play characters, is very, very good for this fight, and I love that they've done this. Kudos to Bandai for actually making this particular character very good against this particular fight, because if you've been playing over the last sort of two months, you should have this character maxed out, and he's going to help you out a great deal. He removes the stun on the final stage, applies increased damage taken, sets defense to zero, and gives you threshold. He does... So much that is so good for this final stage, and it's just crazy. As for the other three units, we want to trigger Roger's EX, because we want Roger to get the carryover effect, as you can't use an ore buff on the final stage. On turn two, your right-hand column gets special binded, and your left-hand column get special reversed, and you get slapped with paralysis. So the combination of Roger and Ace, the new free-to-play 5 plus Ace, is very, very good here. You can use Roger and his EX to carry over the buffs. Roger is the special bind, and then you can use Ace, to get around the paralysis, so it all works out super nice. He also applies a uh, territory, which means on the final stage, Ace is going to be hitting really, really hard. He gets an extra 1.5 times damage, then Powerhouse have that weakness effect, and it all works out super hunky-dory. With the attack and orb boost of Roger, you can just easily kill on the stage. Moving to the final stage nice and simply. On the final stage, the left-hand column gets special mind this time, uh, but again, Roger's going to take care of that. Your crewmates are going to get stunned. Uh, all of them will be after level 31, so that's where Arlong comes into play. After level 31, there's one turn of defense up, but for now, we just have to deal with five turns of damage reduction. Arlong, as I mentioned, is going to set defense to zero, so gets around the defense up, applies threshold to tank the 30k death hit. He applies increased damage taking because the enemy has damage reduction, and he gets around the stun. It's so damn nice. Big Mom, she's a conditional booster. Shanks is a chain boundary unit, and then with that, you should have enough damage to easily take out a Kainu. 
for quite a while, to be honest. Like, you should have plenty of damage. You also have an extra damage reduction buff with Roger, so, like, you're tanking that 30k super easy. On entry, you get an 80% HP cut, um, but you'll be absolutely fine. Don't stress. Finally, we have the Strength Fight. This is the team. Those are the sports. Let's dive on in. Smoothie with the Cracker Support works so well for this fight. Like, so, so, so well. After level 31, you get two turns of a Chain Lock, and there's an attack down if you're below a Chain Lock, a certain chain, so... You want to remove that chain lock before applying your own, or you want to bring a three turner. Also, you get paralyzed, or sorry, paralysis orbs and poison orbs on the final stage. So, just bringing smoothie is actually so freaking nice. Something you do need to note though is you need to make sure you use smoothie before you use the Luffy special. And I'll explain why in a second. Um, you guys will see in this particular run. I, it was very early days, so it didn't matter to me, but you just have to make sure that you use smoothie before you use Luffy. Just make sure you do that. On turn two, you get binder on your left-hand column. Your sailors get special bound. Roger takes care of the special bind. Use his special and his EX to carry the buffs into the final stage, as we've been doing for all of these fights. And then you can use the free-to-play Lin Lin to remove the bind. She's very, very good at that. Um, there is a uh, white beard as well, a free-to-play white beard that works great too. You could definitely use him. Um, but just as long as it triggers the EX of Roger and removes the bind, that'll work fine. On the final stage against Akainu, he gives you poison or paralysis orbs after level 31. For now, it's just poison orbs. Uh, he has an attack down below a certain chain and then a chain coefficient reduction and then that two turns of chain lock comes in He also has five turns of threshold you have to deal with as well. So ideally you want to use the uh, Smoothie special first if you use Luffy before smoothie you are gonna end up getting a uh, Full board of poison slots, which is super super annoying Luffy gives you the buff where you can't change certain orbs for certain characters or you can only change them for certain characters so Luffy's the only one that managed to get a in orb here, but again, if you use Smoothie first, she's going to rotate all those orbs into matching, and then you have a full board of orbs, then you can use Luffy, he gives you base stats, removes the threshold, um, then you can use Shanks for chain boundary, and then you're off to the races, and with that, we say wham bam, thank you man, goodbye to Akainu, so that's going to wrap up the video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, if you did, but the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff, most importantly, if you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day, as always homies, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.